Hey guys, Leroy Donna Griffin here. Um, I want to talk to you about surviving COVID-19. This is, of course, the food truck edition growth during crisis. There's a lot of opportunity to grow out there if you're in the food truck industry. And I just want to give you some tips to not just surviving, but thriving. I don't have my normal mic, guys, so forgive me if it's a little um, airy. I bought this uh, Fee Fine mic off of Amazon, just USB and uh, thought that would get the job done and it's getting the job done, but it's not, um, uh, it's not like my normal dynamic. So, uh, anyway, let's go over some quick numbers. Um, so the industry's worst affected by the COVID-19 job crisis, leisure and hospitality, obviously, uh, you know, movies are closed, so you can't go into the movie theater. Parks are closed. A lot of things are closed that would have allowed, uh, for those numbers to be a little bit better. So obviously being closed, uh, they're the hardest hit. Next is like wholesale retail, then education and health, government workers, manufacturing, professional and business, construction, then other services, 23%, um, 1.42 million, and then other industries. So you see other services, that would be you, buddy. Um, you're at 23%, but it's not just the food industry it's all other services massages place like that um gyms you name it food trucks probably have been the least hit uh, because uh, unlike sit down restaurants which you know may need a hundred people sitting in their restaurant to be able to make overhead food trucks are normally indie owned uh and the smallest overhead and people are still going pull up and eat i've eaten at a couple pop-up little mom and pop places so those numbers are going to come into play here in a bit. So I got a map to, your, to the right of your screen where you see Corona all over America. Uh, pray for New Jersey. Those guys are, um, you know, getting really, really hardly hit. So definitely keep them lifted. Um, but you see it's pretty sporadic, and that's a good and a bad thing. Um, bad that so many people are affected. Good thing that it's, it's common. So it's common for people to wear masks. It's common for people to pick up food. It's common for people uh, to go do th things where they have to drive by. That works in your favor. Um, at the bottom of that uh, map right there, and I think that was provided by the New York Times, by the way, uh, I try to keep everybody's info uh, on the charts that I took so you can go and, and do your own research and make sure that uh, I'm not just pulling these numbers from out of thin air uh, to support what I'm telling you. This is April 2020. You see, this is uh, the social media use um, going up uh, 64%, 54%, 45%, 37%, 35% among females, among males, 54%, 48%, 39%, 32%, 28%. And this is even in the older generation. Why? Because people are home, people have more time. That's going to benefit you greatly. Um, also, to the bottom left, uh, you'll see that. Um, this was a prediction for 2019, October from eMarketer, that revenue may go down for like the Facebooks and, and Instagram, but the amount of money they're pulling in goes up. Why? Because people are pushing social media marketing. I'm going to tell you uh, in one of the tips, I'm just going over tip one today. And over the next 10 days, I'll go over all 10 tips. But why that is so important. Okay, so this is tip one. This is going to be like a no-brainer, but I'm telling you guys, uh, it's it's needed to be mentioned. People are, you, you have to, if you're going to make money during this time, you have to adjust and address people's fears. People are afraid of getting sick. So how, So what do you need to do? You need to remove that fear. So health and safety have to be part of your pitch and part of your business. You have to let people know that, hey, if you come here, you're safe. If you eat here, you're safe. And right now, food trucks are safer than restaurants. Smaller crews mean smaller uh, opportunity for contamination. You can use that when you're talking to people. You're welcome. Um, you know, you're, you don't have people sitting inside or walking inside to pick up their food. Everything is through the window. Less risk of contamination. So you are the safest bet for good food. So use that to your advantage. Make sure that you put signs out to say, hey, we're health and, and safety. We sterilize everything. All of our uh, napkins, all of our cups, forks, plates are disposable. So once they're passed out the window, nothing comes back into the window. So let your, you know, go on so social media and let there be a big push for people to know that, hey man, we are absolutely safe. 
um, that if you're with us, you're going to be safe. If you're eating with us, you're going to be safe. Um, so tip number one, health and safety may seem like a no brainer, but guys, um, you'd be surprised how many places and even restaurants aren't stressing. Um, they're wearing the mask, but they aren't stressing to the, so they're taking the internal steps to be clean and safe, but they're not letting their customers know that they're taking those internal steps, make your customers feel safe and they'll continue to give you money. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, guys, not just uh, so I can have more likes, comments, subscribe, but so you can get the next uh, nine steps and any other positive content about food trucks that we're putting out. All right, guys, be blessed.